And we also put a weather station in the forest, in the jungle. And with the real time sent the wind patterns of the Amazonian rainforest. And we blend this all together and create the winds of Yamanawa. Winds of Yamanawa is last year's most successful NFT project, blockchain project. We raised $2 million for the transparently on Web3, no institution, no bank, just from artist to artist to Yavanava.
So we are now creating an open source AI research, not only for Yavanawa, for any indigenous people, that they would like to preserve their language with technology to be sure that we are all equal and we are all exist together at the same time. So my most important message to deliver about AI is to be sure that it is a mirror and AI will exactly reflect who we are. So it's not about AI, it's about humanity. But the same technology, I do believe, can be used to create possibilities, can be used to solve certain problems. And as a hopeful mind, I do believe that we can bring inspiration, joy and hope for humanity by using AI. It has to bring indigenous ancestral wisdom. It has to be inclusive. And since the moment I became an artist, I always believe that my art should be for anyone, everyone, any age and any culture. And to make it happen, I put humanity in the center of my imagination. happening on social media is making the offline world more dangerous for women and girls. And so it used to be the case that extremist misogyny was sort of segregated onto dark corners of the web. But over the past six years or so, we've seen a lot of misogyny spread from places like Reddit onto mainstream platforms like TikTok. And now jokes about things like violently abusing women um, are not only commonplace, but considered hilarious as part of youth culture on TikTok. And I think that that is incredibly dangerous because I think that what it's doing is it's normalizing violence towards women um, and abuse towards women offline. because we know that social media is also a place where we can empower ourselves. Social networks are places where people connect with other people in our fields, find jobs, get involved in important social justice movements. It's a place where many kids develop interests that turn into careers. And so I think what we need to demand is for tech companies and lawmakers to fix the problems with social networks and to make them better places for women and girls and people of all genders. that a lot of people may not realize is that when women use social networks to try to bolster our careers, we often end up with fewer followers, fewer reposts, and fewer resulting opportunities like um, speaking engagements than the men in our fields. And I think that this very much reflects a deeply rooted bias that causes people to turn to men more than to women for expertise. Um, and we need to actively change that. So one thing that we can all do is make a conscious effort to follow more women and to amplify the posts of women when we appreciate them. I also think it would be a good idea for employers to recognize this disparity and to think about making a conscious effort to repost the posts of women staffers in their organizations at all levels. I think it's a really bad idea um, to comment directly on those posts because that will only boost their engagement, which sends a signal to social networks that people want to see more of them. But if you know someone who is posting inappropriate content about women or other topics online, I think it's really important to have an offline conversation with them about what's wrong with their content um, and help socially stigmatize the practice. 
that is where you post positive things about the woman to counter that hate. So you can post about her accomplishments in her career. You can post things that you appreciate about her. We have to send a signal to tech companies that we do not want to see this sexism and misogyny on their platforms. One way I think we can do this is by filing reports with them when we see their community standards violated. It would send a very powerful message to tech companies to register our collective concern and discontent with this, this toxic content that they're hosting on their platforms. Mm -hmm.